Hi, and welcome to Gatsby Conf. I'm Joel, and I'm a senior product manager here at Gatsby. And today, I'm excited to share some of the great work our team has been doing on the Gatsby Cloud platform. And specifically, I'm really excited to share that Gatsby Cloud now comes with a global edge network. An edge network, or a CDN, is a key piece of delivering a modern website. And so before we dig in, let's ask an important question. What actually is a modern website? Well, if you roll back the clock 10 years or so, you would have found me staring out this window onto Pashunk Ave in Philadelphia. In those days, the early years of my career on the web, building a website meant either handcrafting some HTML and CSS with a sprinkling of JavaScript, or it meant creating server-rendered templates for a monolithic CMS application and phoning in some infrastructure help from a friend. Hi, Tom, if you're watching this, the tools have changed a lot in the last 10 years. And so I think it's at least interesting to consider this question of what is a modern website? And there are three things that for me define what a modern website is from the perspective of a web developer in 2021. Firstly, modern websites are content rich client experiences. We can look back at the last 10 years and see an explosion of not only channels for distributing content, but also APIs that allow developers to easily stitch that data together into cohesive experiences for their users. Now that trend sits alongside a growth in headless or API first CMSs that allow developers to select their own tools for building the client experience. The Jamstack, as we know it, certainly grew out of or alongside these trends. Secondarily, Practices in front-end development and UI design have coalesced around component-driven front-ends that marry the idealism of a design system with the power of what was only once possible in back-end architecture. And the front-end web applications that were enabled from frameworks like Backbone, Angular, and React meant that developers could think in terms of encapsulated component systems rather than relying on bespoke shared naming systems. This meant not only a faster developer experience, but a much richer application layer for, the, for building on the web. Websites, thanks to these frameworks, have become applications in their own right. And finally, the infrastructure for delivering websites has become dramatically simpler with tools that enable continuous delivery without managing any servers, hence the repetition of the app term serverless. With content being delivered from a managed, cloud-hosted solution, and source code updates delivered via a plethora of cloud build pipelines, I don't really need my friend Tom's help to get even the richest content and client experience live to my users. And the consideration for developer experience here has never been better. Each day, it seems, I'm finding a new tool aimed at improving the experience of managing web infrastructure. In short, there really hasn't been a better time to be a web developer. And I'm optimistic that things will simultaneously get easier and more powerful. So to recap my answer to the question, what is a modern website? I think it's really these three things, a content rich client experience built on component driven design that's continuously delivered through serverless tooling. And here at Gatsby, we have been obsessed with making the experience of building modern websites even easier out of the box. Gatsby helps developers quickly build content rich sites through an ecosystem of plugins and it optimizes and secures those sites by generating static files ready to be served to your users. And this is all while allowing developers to leverage the power of react and any number of styling and theming tools to make building a site both fast and delightful. And with Gatsby cloud, we spent the last few years building out a serverless platform specifically optimized for getting Gatsby sites live to your end users. We first created preview to help both content creators and developers easily review their changes before they publish them to their end users. Gone are the days of managing a staging and production environment on your own. And we followed that up with builds to help reduce the time it takes to statically generate modern websites built on Gatsby. And then incremental builds took that to the next level, making publishing your data blazing fast. And now we're excited to announce that we're offering the happy path 
to serving those Gatsby sites as well. Starting today, you'll be able to use one platform to take your Gatsby site from first commit through launch and beyond. Let's take a look at hosting. Firstly, static sites are best served to users through a content delivery network. And so the larger and more robust that edge network, the better experience the end users will have with your site. When your business depends on the performance of your site, your choice of a CDN can have an outsized impact on how quickly and consistently your site loads for your user. And so at Gatsby, we decided to partner with a world-class CDN provider in Fastly. Trusted by partners like Pinterest and Stripe, Fastly is the leader in edge network and compute. And we're excited to be able to offer that CDN as part of the Gatsby Cloud platform. Starting today, all Gatsby Cloud users will be able to deploy their Gatsby site through hosting on Gatsby Cloud. You'll be able to serve your Gatsby site on your own domain without leaving the platform. With free TLS certificates, you can be sure that your Gatsby site will be served securely to your end users. And now, let's see how it works. I'm excited to show you hosting. So let's get started in the local development environment. Here I have a sample Gatsby site uh, created for a fictional company that serves an API that takes lines of poetry and breaks them apart using artificial intelligence. Very riveting science fiction stuff. Now, I have the site running locally at localhost 8000. So let's slide over to our local host here and check that out. Now, upon review, someone pointed out that I have a spelling mistake. Not uncommon, but let's fix that and push that up to our live production site. So I'm going to go in and I'll find the component where that mistake is. OK, and OK, there it is. I'll save that file. Let's double check it here. And I can see that it's already been hot reloaded to change for me in my local dev environment. Great. Let's add that file. Everyone makes typos. All right, I'm pushing that up to my GitHub repository, which is hooked up to Gatsby Cloud, so that every time I push to my main branch here, Gatsby Cloud knows to push a production build and deployment for that for my site. So let's go over to Gatsby Cloud and check that out. Here you can see that we've been, we have built our spelling mistakes that we just pushed up. And that's completed building, and we're now deploying, which is great. Let's head over to site settings to check out uh, how, how that site um, is being served. So if we go over to site settings, we'll see a new tab called hosting. You can see that I have Gatsby hosting turned on here. Um, and a couple of things to notice here. First of all, I can add a new domain. So I can add that in here with a free SS, SSL cert. Um, but you'll notice that Gatsby provides an out of the box URL that I can use to share my project with anybody. And this is served on the Fastly CDN. So you know that this URL is secure and scalable and you can just use this to share around your project. However, you more likely probably want to add your own domain as I've done with my project here. I've added in jammed.app as a as a uh, custom domain. Um, and you can see that Gatsby smartly added a redirect here for me for the www of that same domain. So both of those will work. Um, and the www will redirect to the bare URL in jam.app. So let's check that out. If I open it up, great. We have our production site with our spelling mistake fixed, which is great. And that all happened in just about looks like 30 seconds. So to recap, we have a site that we built locally using the Gatsby open source framework. We built it on Gatsby Cloud using continuous integration. And it's now been served on hosting with our partner Fastly in a safe and secure way. It's Gatsby all the way down, which means it's fast, it's secure, uh, and it's a delight to build with. Thanks for taking a closer look at hosting with me. And with hosting on Gatsby Cloud, you now have a complete platform designed from the ground up to be the best solution for building and serving your Gatsby site to your users. 
And because your site is served through Fastly, you know that your site will be secure and ready to scale for your traffic. Stay tuned after my talk to hear from Simon Wisto, co-founder of Fastly, as he talks about Fastly's vision for the Jamstack and beyond. And how can you get started today with hosting? Visit gatsbyjs.com slash hosting to learn more. Oh, and before I go, a few more things. I'm also excited to announce that we've updated the pricing for Gatsby Cloud. Gone are the days of real-time edits and worrying about hitting your limits. Instead, we're rolling out tailored plans for builds and hosting, allowing you to select the build speed that you need and the traffic that your users demand. Visit gatsbyjs.com slash pricing to learn more. And finally, as Dustin showed off in his demo earlier, a serverless hosting platform wouldn't really be complete without serverless functions. So our team has been hard at work to make sure that you're able to run express style functions alongside your Gatsby project. There's a whole lot more to get into here, but for now, make sure to sign up for beta access by visiting gatsbyjs.com functions. Thanks for tuning in and feel free to reach out in the chat or on social media. You can find me pretty much anywhere as at Smith. Bye.